Robert Dyer. Grove, how's everyone doing up here? Games? I'm having a heck of a time. I'm really enjoying this game. If you haven't noticed already. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, take a look out here. Nothing that interesting. We did find the hunter in the last episode, which was kind of cool. If I do see so myself. So I don't know what we need to do there, but we could definitely go upstairs. Ooh. We'll come back to that in a minute. Footprints. Look at that. Frosty footprints. Who is it doing all this? Huh. Hey, that's how you get a... We know that already. Whack it ten times. Get the rabbit head, microwave it, get the fish. Felix, that's cool. Bunch of random doodles. Haha! That's me. Here, Dr. Anderson, congratulations on your remarkable find. I am currently conducting research for my doctoral dissertation on the underlying facts beneath ancient folklore and the mythologies, and I was elated to be informed of your discovery of such a rare and important piece. I would like very much to visit with you regarding the intended purpose of said item. You are no doubt aware that the legend of Dairo, as fantastic as it may sound, you may, or you have most certainly come upon what I consider definite, 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 definitive proof to what was long been considered little more than a fairy tale. The frozen lady is real. The item you have in your possession is one of the four keys that will allow access to a secret kept for centuries. My excitement can hardly be contained and I intend to pack my research and book a flight to Dire Grove to meet with you at your earliest convenience. See, folks. Uh, let's see. A gauge, a scepter, and pearls. There's so many things in this scene. It's kind of crazy. A banjo in a jar? I guess that's not a banjo. Ooh, looks like bagpipes. That reminds me of Nancy Drew. Stockings and a bowling ball. Stockings, you say? Flask and a chessboard. There's the pearls. You could definitely feel these scenes have. Uh, ramped up their difficulty quite nicely. <laughs> it's a steep curve upwards in difficulty. It's kind of fun that way, I guess. Because remember, this was one of the original uh, Hidden Object games to have like, a story with live actors in it. In fact, you don't really see many uh, developers... Well, Elephant Games does that quite a bit. A lot of them tend to focus on animating the characters, not using live actors with green screens. So I, I'm perfectly fine with either direction of going with uh, adding the characters to the game. In fact, I like the variety. Okay, so clearly I don't have a clue what a banjo looks like. But uh, hopefully I can find glasses. Carefully. That's not a banjo, really? That's a banjo. Of course. 
that's some other instrument. Uh, I'm sure one of you knows. It's like a medieval guitar thing. Huh. Okay, we have a uh, interesting projector. That's interesting. I'm waiting for the hidden object to show its face here. Wait for it, wait for it. Really? Really, game? That's what we're going to do? Alright, fine. Don't show your face. Right, let's do another one. I mean, we are already having such a great time. Let's get on the next one. Everything is so frozen. Ooh, I like that rocket uh, popsicle. I want it. Isn't that what they call that? The blue, the white, and the red. I mean, I think their flavors are all pretty much the same, but those are one of my favorite popsicles. Mm. Alright, so we have another string instrument. We're needing a violin. Let's see what else we got going on here. Shovel it in handy too. Where's this? Oh, there he's there. Okay. An ice scraper and a doll. A rope and a diamond. Ooh, a coffee cup. Little coffee cup for you. Gibbs. Ooh, bowling bow. Okay, so we have rope, ice scraper, and a diamond. Yeah, definitely uh, gonna need an ice scraper soon. Once the winter hits, gonna scrape that ice off your car. I mean, how many of you actually use those when you're climate? Actually have an ice scraper just like that. Mine's actually quite it's longer than that. It has still kind of the, the sharp edge on it, but it's probably twice or three times the length, so you can reach across the front or back of your car. <laughs> anyway, let's randomness. Forget about that. Let's get back to the game and not have so much randomness. Alright, so we have a rope, which is right there. How big is this diamond? Oh, no, that's a pretty damn big diamond. Scraper. Hmm. I don't know if it will let me scrape it. No. Nope. Sweet. Hey, it's electricity puzzles. Yay. I'm actually big. Oh, no. I gotta move them around, do I? Okay. Good. Good, good, good. This is going to take a while for me to go through all this. Okay, that actually looks pretty good there. Hmm. Oh, I see. This one's fixed here, so we need something with blue here. Nope, that's not going to do me any good. This one. So that one there. That's not gonna do me any good. That one's gonna go like that. That one there. Maybe it goes like that. So far, so good. Something with oh, and this one's fixed as well. Oh, okay, can live with that. Mm, this is interesting. So is this one. Sweet. Okay. So I 
getting pretty darn close here. The only problem with this one is it's not connecting with that one. That yeah, doesn't connect with that either. It goes like that. So that's clearly messed up there. Wow, this is tricky. Okay, that's actually progress. Yay, we did it! I'm not surprised. <laughs> Although I am a little bit surprised. <laughs> Yay! to be number 50%. Oh no, we're gonna go back here. I want to go see what the electricity is doing or not doing anymore. And I still want that lollipop, not lollipop, popsicle. Okay, so let's get back into this here. We have a uh, need to succeed. So where is everything we need. Bowling car. Bowling ball. Why did I... There it is. Piggy bank. And this is, uh, you know, standard for when you repeat a scene. It tends to be a little easier the second time around. Clock? No, it's not clock. Mug, see? Hello, Mug. Your turn. Yeah, trumpet. Okay, I'll trust you that that's going to be a handy thing to have. I'm not sure what's morphing here. Wait for it, wait for it. Okay, we'll have to come back to that. here. Let's go check out the electricity. Or the lack thereof. Farm for sale. Ooh, cassette. Hello, cassette. The for sale sign is one of the few things not completely covered in snow. Another chimney, really, game. Uh, the ice net? Oh, we need a key, do we? Ooh, what do we have here? Ah, uh, the motor spark is screwed in tightly. I can't loosen it with my bare hands. Oh, we need a spark plug, too. Oh. So we need an actual wrench, do we? Alright. Wow, there's so much more to do here. Or not. The place is falling apart. Another hidden object scene. Wow, so many of them. That's okay, that's why we play these games, right? That's exactly why we play them. So whenever I see the word umbrella, I always think of the Umbrella Corporation. Does anyone know what movie or video game series the Umbrella Corporation is in? Definitely uh, some of my favorite movies and also some of my favorite video games. I don't know if that's a hint or not. Oh, I thought that was candy, but it says candle. Good grief, I am in trouble with this scene.
There's a bra there. Risk. Candle, a purse, and a fork. Fork and a key. Oh, wow, that's one crazy candle. Well done, me. Well done. All right, so I have a key and a bat. Now, again. Aha, see it's a baseball bat, not a flying bat. Now, Kiki, 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 where are you? I want to find you. Got gotcha. you. Ah, the key. I think we know exactly where that has to go. It's got any morphing object in here. It has to be. see it right now. Okay, well, that's enough of that. Let's go and do our videos. Cassette. Matt? Hey, Matt, come on. It isn't funny. Come on, dude. We're freezing. Maybe we should look outside. Hey, check it out. Footprints. Dude, where are you? Matt, it's too cold to be playing out here. Look. More footprints. Looks like somebody's been digging holes. And more holes over here. just got real. Alright folks, we'll take a break here and we'll see you in the next episode. Hopefully you're enjoying Dire Grove as much as I am. Thanks for watching.